possible, as clear as possible, but this is what I ultimately want to achieve here for anyone who wants to follow along. Um, and you can do this on many different variants and components, organisms, molecules, whatever, templates. You can, you can apply the same idea. So the easiest way to do it is with the button to explain it. Um, so you see my, I, just, I set up everything in true false to make it easier for my product team to, like, they don't know Figma as well as I do, so it makes it easier for them to mess around with the variants of whatever the project is. So we deal with current residences, like a, pro, um, a property management tool. So I have to create like current resident, prior, resi prior resident applicant. So I, I use, I do it like that as my, as the true false in the variants, but I'll just show you on this. All right, so let's get started. So you know how we normally people have the drop down and you, I, this is easier for me. It's like, turn it on, turn it off, hover, focus, disabled. You can even put the label in if you want to do that. Um, so yeah, but, uh, so I'm going to show you how I make this. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Hopefully this is basically for beginners with a little, these are like, it's a beginner, but this is, this will really help you that your, your product team, your team will help, will, will, uh, appreciate this type of setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this or duplicate it, command D and, uh, just so I have it as a reference so if I forget anything and then I'm going to detach this so what you do to detach this instance you notice it's an instance because of this icon here um, this is the icon for a component um, so yeah let me detach this so now I have a button a button um, you want to see how I do you want me to do it from the beginning um, how I set this button up would that help be helpful all right here let me do it let me do it like this text Always start. I don't make rock rectangles. Um, so, whoop, yeah, label. All right, label. I want the label to be white. I'm using my styles. If you don't know how to create and use styles, then uh, that's another video. And let me know in the comments if you want to see anything in particular. I can do a lot of things here. Uh, okay, so I got my. Oh, I already applied the text. So here's my text. It's a label. Um, textile 14 um, uh, where are we going oh okay so let's make this a component boom component now you can do this two different ways you can add you can add your variants afterwards or before that's up to you um, and so don't get like nervous that you screwed something up you can always fix these after the fact uh, do I want to make my properties now no I'm going to actually, I'm going to make the button right now. Um, so as a fill state, I'm going to do, what's this one? This is going to be the active button. So what, what color do I want it? I want it like this, I guess. What is that, 500? Yeah. All right. And I need some padding. Uh, oh, I need auto layout. Hello. So you can either go auto layout here or use a shortcut. I usually do the shortcut, which is shift A. Um, I can't stand tens and five. I like using eights, fours, eights. I like binary. I like the I like the matrix. Um, well, this is only matters if I was gonna make put an icon with this, which I'm not. So I'll just put a zero, whatever. It doesn't matter. And I'm gonna center this. So if you don't know auto layout, you have to learn auto layout, and that's a whole nother world. Um, it's hugging. That's fine. So I, I want it to be 32 pixels I like I like these numbers 32 so I think I can do eight will get me to 30 no 36 okay so maybe it's six yeah six gets me to 32 I'm looking right up here as the height and as far as what do we want to do 12 or 16 let's just go 16 here for the padding I'm doing the padding here left and right and I want some curve so you go up here I want some rounded corners uh, four is fine so there there's a, there's our first our button our, it's called label right now. I'm going to call it button. Whoop. Button. Um, and this is our active state, although I haven't applied any properties to this because I haven't created the variants yet. And there's different ways of doing that too. I usually, 
Uh, what do I do? <laughs> it all depends. I could put the properties here. Want me to make the properties first? Would that be easier? Here. Let's just add a variant to this. This is highlighted. Add the variant. And now, oh, it's called, see, it defaults to property one. So you can go in here, double click into it, and I put active. Hit enter. And I'm going to go to these little edit properties and put some a value of false. I always do false first. Although this is true because <laughs> it's the active one. So if I select this, this has an active and it says this is active and I'm going to make it true. Because I want this to, to be the active state. So now I want to make, uh, what do we got here? I need a hover, right? I need the hover. Yeah, hover next. So I usually just do control D, but you can add, um, you can add it this way or how else do you add it? Or up here with the plus. There's a bunch of different ways. So I usually, honestly, I just go control or command D and it, oh, actually I want this in, um, I want this component to be in auto layout also. Just hit the plus. Um, it doesn't matter. I like to, this is the only time I use 20s, by the way, is in these. So if I hit Command D when I select this, yes, it'll go down. Now it wants it to be active. See, this is why I said you can either do it before or after. So this will actually be false because it will not be my active state. But I have to create a state for this, which is a, a variant for this, which was, what did I say? It's going to be hover. So, whoops, I don't go there. Um, oh, I got to click on the entire component to get these to add the properties so I'm gonna add hover actually I'm just gonna go through and add all of them now because I know what they're gonna be hover uh, what's the next one um, focus and all false always make them false first it's you'll just trust me it's easier um, I mean it doesn't matter it, it is, uh, what do I want um, I got focused uh, I'll just say disabled Able. You ever work, look at a word and it looks like it's not spelled right? <laughs> I hate when that happens. All right, it's false. All right, so I got active, hover, and you can move these like depending. So say I want disabled second or hover second or focus. So you just grab it when it highlights on that sorter. Um, so hover, focus, disabled. Okay. Uh, so let's make them. Okay, so this is my, right now this is going to be my hover. So I have to do a true Whoop, true, true for this. As my hover, I'm gonna control D, or I always say that, command D, and I don't know why it thought that it was gonna be uh, disabled, but it's gonna be hover, so, I mean, it's gonna be focus, so let me get here. Um, this So hover will be false, focus will be true. All right, and then we'll do one more for disabled. Control D, this will actually be true. And then my focus will be false if that's my disabled when I'm on these. All right, so now I apply the colors. Uh, so on the hover, what do you want? I'm a little lighter, so I'm just gonna go go 400. On f and then I'll, this should be focus. Focus. I'll go a little darker. Uh, where am I? Um, where was it? Was that 500? Right. So 600. That's fine. Focused. And then disabled. You're gonna go with a gray. Where's my grays? I'm gonna go like a gray 300. Yeah. Okay. And again, if you don't know how to make your libraries, then that's another video. So here we go. So I should have it all set up. Um, if I want to apply this label to be to for the content to be clicked, I have. Oh, this is another trick or not a trick? Something important. It's labeling your your uh, layers over here. So right now, the, all these are named label. So if I hit this hug, see that hug, uh, or it's hug hug, because that's what I have it. I can set to fill, but that little like navigation, see, select all four matching layers. So it's key how you name your layers. So now if I click that, now they're all selected on label. It says label. Here, if I open them up, Label, label, see, they're all selected that way. I, whatever I want to name them. And by the way, if I want to change the names of all these, I hit Command R and I can, whatever I want to call it, um, text, you know, and then hit rename and now they're all text. But I don't want to do that, so let me go back to control, uh, Command R and go, I like label 
enter. Okay, so where was I going to do? Oh, so I'm going to add a property to this. So you, when they're selected, you go to content here, and I'm going to say label. I could say label text, whatever. I mean, whatever you want to call it. And that's the value is label. So I said create the property. So now what I do is I highlight one of the buttons. I hit option. And you notice the, the arrow doubles there. It, it becomes two. See it? See it? That means if I hold option and I click and I drag, now it, now this is an instance. See? We're not we're using instance. So now, but since I pulled out the active one, active is true. Now I want the hover, I want the focus. And this can, like I said, this can be applied to so many different variants. Like you can do full blown templates and do this, you know, and, and be like, um, I'd like, you know, this is the screen. You can, there's so many ways. Like it just, you gotta think outside the box. I mean, I could go on and show you this if you really want, but you gotta let me know in the like comment or something. I, I can do, I can help you out. Um, and I appreciate it. So I'm gonna change the name of it here. Sean, whoops, Sean. Um, yeah, so that's it. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. I can get rid of these and hit delete. I thought it was straightforward. And so, like I said, there's so many ways to do this. So you can, do, um, I could, you, oh, I can set up a small set here. Watch, I'll do this real quick for you. So I can make a small, so I'm gonna, First of all, I'm going to take it off of uh, auto layout because it's difficult when it gets when you get more going in here. So no auto layout. So now I can kind of finesse things. So watch this. So I'm going to I'm going to go into my properties. I, I highlighted the component itself. These, these are all the variants. So I'm going to say variant. And I'm going to say small. Or I could say um, what would be small. 20 pixels, 24 pixels. So I can say, what did I say? 24 px. I'm gonna call it small. 24 px, false. So now that that variant, and I, I like to put the sizes at the top here. So all I'm gonna do is grab all of these. So you have to click in here first before you can start grabbing things. So that now they know now Figma knows that you're inside here. In in me, and I select all of them. I hit Command D. To duplicate so now they're all duplicated right and I dragged them all up here but yet now you see the errors right all I'm gonna do <laughs> is hit is create true on this small now the, now that that went away so um, the error went away so now here you have notice this is false when I'm in the left column now all I have to do is select all of these that are on the right, that are my small is true. These are all mixed because they're true, false, true, false in here, if you understand that. Um, and I'm gonna make it, what did I say, 24 pixels? So what would I have to do? And all I'm doing is adjusting the the, 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 um, the vertical padding. It says it right there. I'm gonna put two, and that gets me to 24. You notice here, it says 24. And I could bring it in on the side to 12 maybe, just to make it, or something like that, or even an eight, I don't know, whatever. You can have it. Uh, that looks a little weird, but so now when I bring one of these out here, I'll bring out. Oh, let me just do the active. So option, see the arrow, the arrows change. Option, click, drag. So now it's the small one. I don't want the small. I want the bigger one, right? So now I want the focused, and I want it small. You, did you see what I'm? You see that? So that's it. I uh, appreciate it. Well, oh yeah, because it's small but this is I love my the components like this I told and there's so much more if you want to know more that I do I could show you like like swapping icons leading and trailing uh, icons list items you name it um, but anyways thanks hope you liked it uh, enjoy your day <laughs> oh, let me click that off oh, how do I stop this